Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another unboxing video to do. And this one came from KM and Co. KM is another made in America leather bag company. And if you have been watching my video, and this would be the bag that that may the reason why I lost my wallet when I was in Pennsylvania. Uh, I'll link it up here if you haven't watched that video. So this is the bag that I bought when I was traveling and they were doing a they call it scratch and then seals. It's kind of like Portland leather good almost perfect seals. It's it's similar in that way, but from what I from what I saw other people's pictures, it seems the the, the coy characteristic of the the back and the leather to me it it feel like it's a little bit more than just scratch and then but I didn't I didn't know it or I wasn't aware of it when I bought this because I kind of got used to the almost perfect from Portland leather goods so I'm a little bit nervous about this purchase and also the color I bought is Blood Moon. It wasn't so red on the on the website, the product picture, but from what I saw from other people's Blood Moon leather bag, the leather seemed to be a lot more vibrant and a lot more red in it. And I like red, but I, I, I just don't don't have don't get used to wear a red bag, so I'm not sure how this turned out. I'm nervous. So from the time I ordered to, I, to the time I got this bag, it took I think three to four weeks. It has been a long time, so I wish they would do it faster, but since they are made to order so you can't blame them for taking too long that's an envelope ah, came with a back tag a receipt and this is their business card, I guess. Is this some kind of production tech? Interesting. Let's put it aside first. So here is the bag. Let me reshape it a little bit and put away this box. Okay, so this is how it looks after I reshape it a little bit. The, the handle, I, I requested the 10 inch drop because I believe the standard was, uh, the standard was seven, maybe seven inches. I think I got used to the 10 inch or 11 inch drop from Portland Leather Goods. So it just feel more comfortable to swing over your shoulder. So but you do have to pay more when you request a longer handle and this is the button snap I wish they used the same color but it's a different color Let's see how it works it works let me look through this bag to see what's going on with the scratch and then I guess you can see a, 
a den here and a den here. It looks like some kind of scar probably from from the injury when the, the cow was alive or something. Luckily this is a darker darker color leather bag so it's not that obvious in real life. I'm not sure how it looks on screen but it's not that obvious which is good. And let's look it inside. It's pretty red inside. The color, the blood moon, the color in person is kind of between red and purple. It's a little bit magenta. It's a little bit of purple tones under, underneath this. Inside the bag, trying to show you the inside. This is how the the structure of the bag, the construction of the bag is how they sew it together or they didn't and they put the rivers underneath it not showing on the outside but I guess you can say they they strengthen they strengthen the bottom with rivers four rivers each side four here four here to make the bag more durable inside of the bag one side is pretty smooth and then the other side is very hairy. What happened here? I guess that's part of the scratch and then. And as I could tell, the leather is thinner here. The feature, they have this bar that you could hook on your sunglasses or your key or something. I'm not quite sure but there's a, a bar here and then on the other side you have this slip pocket generous size but there's no zipper or anything just attached to it so I know many people praise this company for how they use one piece of leather to make the whole bag as you can see this is just a crease, it's not, it's not a separate piece of leather being sewed together. It's a one piece of leather going across the bottom. So, when I posted Portland Leather Goods review, many people mentioned how they have concern regarding the quality. To be honest, I, I couldn't quite tell the difference. I, I couldn't. I don't think this is particularly much higher quality compared to Portland leather goods. The leather is actually thinner than the Portland leather goods. At least this one, this color, particularly this color, is pretty thin, and the back is pretty light. So, I mean, I see the value of the made to order, made it in in you in the United States but in terms of the leather quality I don't see too much different or, or better than Portland leather goods it's, it's nice leather I mean I like the color variation on this leather but I was surprised to see how thin the leather is because I always heard that people talk about how thick KMM's leather is but not this one. I heard that the Arcodia and Bison leather are thicker, but for this one, it's actually the thinnest leather I I ever had. So, what do I like about this bag is the the rounded edge on this handle. Compared to Portland leather good, is Portland leather good is kind of cut off here, just straight edges. But this one. It just look more refined with the rounded rounded corner. If you're comfortable and looking at this bag, 
the color it it doesn't look too overwhelmingly red to to add it to to my collection and no major damage that I would concern about I think I'm pretty lucky that this scratch and dent bag that actually doesn't look so bad I definitely have seen worse but is it worth the money? I, I don't know I'm kind of not sure I like thick leather and this just isn't it I have to say Am I disappointed? Probably not because I've been waiting this for about a month now so I, I did have time to to go through a lot of pictures on, on the Facebook group seeing examples and knowing what to expect I'm not blown away by this bag I'll be honest and like I always say I always try to be honest in my in my review I did order another KMM bag that's not from scratch and then it was the from the their premium listing the vegeta vegetable tan leather I hope that one will be thicker and I sure hope they would ship it to me before I move is is it controversial to compare them but I don't know but what do you think the price I pay for this that is actually it cost more than what I pay for Portland leather goods but this one is not made in Mexico this one is made in the United States so the cost and it will, it will be more pricey for sure what do you think let me know in the comment what your experience with KMM are you all happy with their products I'm I'm looking forward to to see the bag that from the premium listing the vegetable tan leather bag for now I'll try to use it and let you know how it holds up. Thanks for watching my unboxing today and let's talk again soon. Bye.